we got to our Airbnb and they gave us this adorable little welcome package with some pretzels or crackers, more crackers, and coffee. It was so sweet. make you work for your pizza here. This is casually where we just had dinner. With this view. just got dinner and dinner at the Duomo no big deal and gelato I got a cookies flavor and vanilla and it's delicious I think this is my third gelato in four or five days I'm fine with it so we arrived to Florence this afternoon and I'm obsessed with it I was like super sad to leave Rome but Florence just has such good vibes and the buildings are so sweet and there's so many people walking around and it's touristy but like not in an overbearing way. Like in Rome, it's like everyone's a tourist, it felt like, and here it's just more chill. So I'm so excited to be here. And Ellie is showing us around where she's been living the past few months and it's just been so nice. Good morning. Today is our first full day in Florence, Woo! which is so exciting because this is like what we've been waiting for. Like Rome was great, but we really came here to go to Florence. That's the place. The place for what? Oh, today is gonna be a chill Florence day. We let ourselves like have a chiller morning and sleep in, and it's like 9:45, and we're about to get some breakfast at this place that Ellie says has the best chais in the world, mm -hmm. which is a very bold statement and it's kind of fighting words because I am the chai queen and I am the one that decides if things are the best in the but world. But I'm a worldwide gal now. Yeah, now and she's very, cultured. I'm chai cultured and I've tried quite a few <laughs> chais in my culture. day. This is the top of the list, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> we're gonna go try it out and then after that we're going to climb up to the top of the Duomo, Duomo. Um, which we showed last night. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Alex cut that out in post-production. Who? Alex. Who's Alex? I don't know. Okay. Our producer. <laughs> yeah. Hum -de -dum. And after we climb the Duomo, which is like 463 steps or something, and I think Ellie's gonna go to class, and my mom and my brother and I are going to just like do some of the other Duomo-ish things, like go to the museum, maybe go into the cathedral, and then just walk around and enjoy Florence because we've been running around every single day like chickens with their heads cut off doing stuff. So today is gonna be nice to just relax and go at our own pace and do what we wanna do. So let's do it. They said this chai is better than our favorite chai place in so I'm gonna try it and I'll be the dress of that because I'm the Thai queen. Here we go. I know. Like it's bomb. It's just like so cold. It's so cold too. It just tastes so refreshing and perfect. We're gonna need to come here every day. Yep. Almost there. 
Okay, it is 100% worth hiking up those 463 steps because look at this view. little aperitivo. Welcome to my life! With Ellie's roommate Brie. Now, oh this way. We're gonna go do a little bit of shopping. Maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything but we're going, we're going to H&M. We're gonna go to Brandy. We're gonna go to Zara. Maybe Moleskin. Whatever. Oh my god. All right, shopping. Wait, this guy's what? always over here singing. He's so good over to the right. Okay, we'll go over there. We are. That's the way we're going, anyways. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So shopping was successful for Ellie, but not for me. I didn't get anything, which is actually probably a good thing because I already bought too much at Zara. Too much sauce. <laughs> Listen and to this guy playing music. Okay, I'll show you in a second. Now we're walking back to the Airbnb, and I'm gonna take a shower, get ready for bed because we have an early morning. We just got to Florence and this is the staircase up to our Airbnb. We're actually on the top floor and we had to lug all of our suitcases up like four flights of stairs. So we'll give you a little tour. You walk in here, this is like the little foyer room. It's super convenient and it just makes it feel so much more spacious in here. If we go straight, then here's the living room with my cute little brother. Hi. And these couches actually push together and can make a bed in here too, which is nice. One of the reasons why we got this place out of all the Airbnbs is because it has a balcony. So I'm pretty sure that that is the Uffizi Palace. So we're like in like central, central Rome. And if you look down here, those are the lines to like some famous panini places apparently. And it's always like that, I guess. The view in the distance is so pretty. And also, very cute table. There's just cute details everywhere. There's the little welcome package they gave us. Another little window. Here, when we walk through these doors, we enter the kitchen and dining room. Here's the dining table, which is so pretty. I'll give a little overview. And then here's the kitchen, which is also like a fully stocked kitchen, just like our last one. So nice. So then in here is the first bedroom. Let's see if this light works. Yes. This is the first bedroom. It has a nice armoire. My mom's suitcase. And here is the first bathroom. This one's kind of long, which is funny. Cool shower back here. I haven't like looked in, but it has a skylight and it's like blue, which is fun. And it has a nice seat. I love the floors in here. All of the floors in Italy are beautiful. I don't get it. Okay, now we're gonna go back in here and this takes you to the entryway that we were just in. And then in here is the second bedroom, which I think is where Ellie and I are gonna stay. Suitcases, cute chair. Another little armoire, nice little view of the city. And this is one of my favorite parts. The balcony and the tub are my favorite parts of the Airbnb. Sink, 
mirror, toilet, full length mirror, hello. 